All right, we're gonna need all the paints. Blue, green, yellow, and red. Here we go. All right, these are the tools we're gonna use. We'll color code them and time them and see how long it takes to make a water delivery. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got my paint, paintbrush here. Got a little tiny drop of paint on it, not too much. And I've got to find a bee that's drinking, that's holding still. And we'll put a dot on it. You gotta find one that's almost full and that's not watching you. There we go. Okay, we got a red dot on that bee. What? All right, I've painted bees a bunch of different colors. Green, white, pink, red, blue. Um, the reason for doing this is I need to separate the amount of time that it takes a bee to fly from the hive uh, from the amount of time that it takes a bee to deliver the water. So if I can separate those two, then I can determine a distance by the uh, flight time. All right, so if it takes a bee an average, let's say, nine minutes to go from water to return, and two to three minutes of that is delivery time at the hive, then the rest of that time would be in transit. So if I know how much time is spent flying, then I can determine a distance because a bee flies about 15 miles an hour. So that's what we're up to. I'm, I'm okay, going to be behind the camera that was doing the last video. Now it's my dad who's like the, the handsome man in the blue outfit. <laughs> He's like <laughs> Thank black. Thank you. Yeah. And it's like we're watching for bees, the pink dot of bee. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of terrified right now because there's like a wasp in there. Oh, it's coming. Okay, it's gone. Shoo, wasp. Shoo, shoo. Anyway, um, so it's it's kind of cool what we're doing. It's kind of similar. It's a little bit similar to bee lining, which is also something I I'm like. Just I'll be filling it with water. Show you. Okay, five. Twenty-four. The bee marked with yellow has just returned for more water. It'll take her about a minute to fill up. Okay, uh, uh, we've been tracking the bees. I've colored them different colors, and one bee, one color, so we can tell when it comes back. It takes them about one minute to fill up on water, and two to three minutes to make the water delivery. The in transit time is negligible right now because the hives are so close by we're not even counting flight time. So now we have a uh, time that it takes to unload. From that we can hunt wild bees. We can clock the overall time and come up with uh, flight time which will give us a distance. It's easy to find bees here because it's kind of a little oasis. There's uh, some water and there's some big cottonwood trees and there's not much else for quite a few miles in between. So it makes it a good guess that you're going to find bees here. Okay, I'm at the watering hole. It's not even a hundred yards down from the bee tree. But I see some of the bees going downwash instead of up. A lot of deer coming in for a drink. A lot of bees coming in for a drink. They like the spot on the rocks best of all. Let's time some of them. See how long it takes some to make a round trip. I've been sitting here timing this bee. I put a uh, horsetail reed 
in the dirt. She took about nine minutes. If it's the same bee, I need to mark it. I need to put some dust on her or something to tell if it's the same bee. But she landed in the same spot. Let's time it again. It takes her about 30 seconds to fill up on water and about nine minutes to return. Okay, she's back. And it took her, it's 10.22 nine minutes. Same as before. You can see when the bees done they groom themselves a little do a couple little circles away she goes again. Nine minutes so today should be a good day to get a, a distance based on round trip times from the hive to the water or whatever source they're foraging on because there's no wind today. So what I don't know is how long it takes for a bee to unload uh, water compared to pollen or nectar. She's back 10.49. Nine minutes. So we have a bearing and I think we've got a distance. We'll time it once more to make sure. Okay, didn't work. More than nine minutes has gone by. And she didn't show up at the same spot. So what do I learn? I need to mark the bees for sure so I can know if uh, this, the bee that was here is the same bee that's on the other side of that puddle or just down there. I don't know. They're supposed to land in the same spot. We'll see. I think all the bees are in. The sun just barely went down. A little after seven, and I don't see any more bees coming in. There's still plenty of light, but they're done.